Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to talk about some of the causes of indigestion. Um, some of these things can be a congenital defect or something that is caused by a disease process or malform malformation within the esophagus. And so most common would be a weakening of the sphincter that closes off the top of the esophagus. And so this is... Um, it's, it's not allowing the normal pressure that holds our food and the acid production down in the stomach, but actually allows it back up and it causes the indigestion and the heartburn. It could be secondary to a medication that you're taking that's causing more heartburn or most commonly uh, is the food that we're eating or that you're eating that's causing too much acid and it's not being broken down um, as well as it normally would. And, and this sometimes can cause um, a couple of things. One, it could cause the indigestion to come up and cause the heartburn, but it can also do some damage to the stomach wall, which will prolong the effects of indigestion. And you'll see it become chronic at that point. And those are just some of the ways or some of the causes of indigestion.